Hey there, my name is Victory and welcome to the beautiful Becca. So today I'm going to be showing you guys an individual full locks tutorial and I went from this to Strentus to this locks. These are the locks that I'm going to be showing you how I did today. I filmed this in like January but I've just never posted it so that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. So I started by sectioning my hair equally on both sides so basically I have the same number of parts on both sides that's why it's parted in the middle so the things you're going to need for this are water bottle with water and conditioner raw shea butter and coconut oil those are the things I used to create my twists you're also going to need a crochet hook and braiding hair so the braiding hair I used is super dirt by sister and I used two packs So this is how the hair looks outside of the packet. As you can see, they're already individually separated. So it's much easier to work with as opposed to using normal braiding hair. So I did majority of it off camera because I don't really see the point of showing you guys like the whole process because it's pretty much the same for all the braids. So now I'm going to show you guys how I did the front ones. So you're going to take one strand of braiding hair and your crochet hook and you're going to pass your crochet hook through the root of your two strand twist. So you're just going to pass it through the root and then hook the braiding hair, close the latch and pull it through. Then once you've done that, you'll pass both your natural hair and the two strands of crochet hair through the hoop and then you pull it to tighten the braid. Now once you've done that, the next step is to conceal your natural hair and we're going to do this by putting it through one of the braids. So you're going to push your hook from a reasonable point where you think your natural hair might reach but slightly lower and then you pull it up through the braid, the middle of the braid, until you get to the top. Now once you get there, you hook your natural hair onto the crochet hook. And then close the latch. And then you're going to pull your hair through the braid. And that's the basic concept of what you're going to do. You're going to do that for all the braids. So I'm going to show you a second time. Put your crochet hook through the root of your natural braid or other two strand twist. And then after that, you're going to hook the braiding hair onto the crochet hook, close the latch, pull it through and then pull both your natural hair and the two strands of braiding hair through the hoop and then tighten the braid. Once you've done that, you're going to take your crochet hook and pass it through one of the strands right in the middle. So you push it all the way up and like I said, start from a point slightly lower than where your natural hair reaches so that the full two strand twist is inside the braiding hair. Once you get to the top, you'll hook your natural hair onto the crochet hook, close the latch and then pull it through the braid itself. And then you can see now from this one that my hair is completely concealed so you can't tell where the natural hair is and that's how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. 
So here I'm just checking the mirror to make sure that I haven't left out any strands of natural hair without putting, well, without fading them. Am I even making sense? I think you understand what I'm trying to say. And yeah, so this is the final look. This is how the braids look once you're done. Uh, later on, I ended up cutting them to shoulder length because I wanted them to be a bit shorter, but I had this hair for a really long time and I really, really liked it. Yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you get notified anytime I post. That's all for this video and till next time, have a beautiful weekend.